We got some business to do here because I've got an envelope over here. Uh oh. oh. Nikia, defensive player oh. of the year. But first, a little background. 40 years ago, the NBA's first defensive player of the year award was handed out to the Bucks, Sidney Moncrief. In fact, he won the first two. Ten players have won it multiple times, led by Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace with four. Fourteen players have won it once, a list that includes MJ, Gary Payton, Michael Cooper, Kevin Garnett, Giannis, and last year's winner, Marcus Smart. We will have another first-time winner here in 2023. The finalists for the Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year are Jaron Jackson Jr. of Memphis, Brooke Lopez of the Milwaukee Bucks, and Evan Mobley of Cleveland. Mm. Would you like to... Uh, would you like to get the result? Yes. Well, no, we're just sitting here for the hell of it. Good, as you normally do. What do you think it is, Chuck? Wait, uh, no, just, hey, 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 hey. No, let's just, just do it. Guess. Let's hey, just yeah, do yeah. it. Let's not take okay. away from right. the moment. All right. All right. The winner of the Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year is Jaron Jackson Jr. Ooh. of the Memphis Grizzlies. Wow. Well deserved. Yes, indeed. Um, I've got the, I've got the, uh, the tabulation oh, here. Total points in the voting, 391. Brooke Lopez second at 309, and Mobley third at 101. Jaron Jackson Jr. got 56 of the 100 first place votes. Brooke Lopez with 31. What makes a Shaq in, in this day and age, and you see the numbers on Jaron Jackson Jr. leading the NBA in block shots with three. Brooke Lopez, by the way, had the most blocks but blocks per game was uh, was Jaron Jackson. What makes a, a big time, big man defender? I can't answer about defense, but I have blocked a few shots. You know, when you can affect somebody's shot, when you can affect them mentally, when they come in the lane, they know they're gonna get touched up, they're gonna get it blocked, or you have to make them alter a shot. I was never a, a defensive stopper, but if you drive past the Kenny or Charles, I was able to meet you at the rim and either touch you up or block it. He definitely has that ability to make people change shots, and he will go for it. He's not afraid to get dunked on. I, I think that's the key. You know, a lot of big guys, you know, including myself, if a guy got past me and I didn't want to get embarrassed, I would just let him go. But if I had enough time to, like, meet him at the rim or meet him before they get to the rim, I was able to block it. And he definitely has that ability. And I don't think anyone is definitely mad at, at this vote because as the leading shot blocker in the league, that just tells me that he goes after everything, makes people alter the shot, and he's very, very active around the rim. What do you think, Chuck, of, uh, of these three finalists and of the winner, Jaron Jackson Jr.? Well, I think it's well-deserved. The, the answer to your first question is Alonzo Mourning, Mark Eden, Dikembe, guys who got... When I look at, like, you know he's coming. You know if you... Cause, as a good offensive player, I'm not even worried about the guy guard me. I'm going to get around him. I'm going to get the shot I want. But like when I played against those guys I just mentioned, Jaron Jackson reminds me of that. I know he's coming to try to block my shot at some point. And you, so you really have to say, well, I got to beat two guys. And so when Jaron, would you quit waving non-defender? You didn't put me on that list? No, you're shot? not a defender. No. So I wasn't a shot blocker? You wasn't. Underdog, where do I rank in shot? I'm in the top ten. Yeah, uh, cause you're big as hell than everybody else. Okay, so put me on that damn. No, list no, there. you weren't a shot blocker. I wasn't looking at you like Bro, that. Bro, I'm in the top ten. That, that does you just big and ugly, but that's another story <laughs> for another time. But when I, I'm saying when you're looking for a guy all the time, that's what make a guy a great shot blocker. Like Shaq says, a lot of guys are afraid to get dunked on, but some guys do not care. Morning, the Kembe, Mark Eden. Manu, I put Manute Bowl in that situation. Those guys are coming. And so you really have to be two guys. So, but all three of these guys are well-deserved, but Jaron Jackson well deserved it. I have a little bit of different perspective, only because I've, I've had the unfortunate and fortunate ability to play against a defensive player of the year on the perimeter in Gary Payton and then have to go in the lane against the Kembe Mutombo Alonzo Mourning. So it's two different. They're looking for shot yeah. blocks. I'm talking about 94 feet. And what always I thought makes a great defender, even if it's at the rim or on the perimeter, it's not that you can't get by them or you can't score on them. It's their second effort. Mm -hmm. 
So once you get by him and you think you're gone, then all of a sudden it, it comes back and he's, they're still there. And I throw another guy who never won defensive player of the year and that would be Muggsy Bogues. Right. A guy who had great second effort in terms of on the perimeter and that made people uncomfortable. But Gary Payton, Jaron Jackson, Matumbo, Lonzo Mourning, all the games, Marcus Smart, they make you uncomfortable because of their second effort, not always their first. Uh, we are pleased to be joined by the Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year now. From Memphis, Jaron Jackson Jr. Congratulations, Jaron. Nice going. Thank you. I got my mom clapping while I'm <laughs> trying to get the Oh man. I uh look, I I know from reading just on uh, some of your history. Uh obviously your dad played in the NBA, won a ring with the San Antonio Spurs, and I know you have the utmost appreciation, admiration, love for the man who who taught you how to play the game the right way. How do you define playing the game the right way? It's winning basketball. It's uh, always trying to win. Um, you really put yourself second and everything that has to do with the team is first. Um, he always did that in his career. So even if he didn't say it, I could follow his career and pretty much see that he always wanted to play winning basketball and he was thankful enough to win a championship. And that's what I'm trying to do now. So I'm trying to get one of my own. Junior, congratulations. Uh, we love your game. You have a fabulous game. And uh, in, in, in the sake of this award, at the beginning of the year, did you say to yourself, I want to be the defensive player of the year? Uh, 100%. Um, it's something that would only take our team to the next level if I'm on that, if I'm on that type of time, playing defense, helping everybody out. Uh, you know, whenever we're playing like that, team defense really helps us. It goes a long way. I have a kind of a co guy right here on my on my on my right Dylan Brooks who brings it every night um, and we kind of lay the foundation for what we need to do as a team so I mean I definitely said that to myself and I know he did too and I'm glad we got one to the 901 to a two part question number one are you left handed or you only block shots with your left hand I don't know I haven't I haven't figured it out. I usually just tell them I'm right-handed, so they let me go left anyway. But I, I used to be left-handed when I was, like, three. And then I switched because, you know, when you're shooting in the driveway, you can do whatever you want. And I just said, might as well switch. But you know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting. You know, Jaron, congratulations, first of all. Um, the, the other thing that I, I would say is when your game actually took off and people started recognizing you, it was because of your offense. And now you're getting recognized for defense where when you became an all-star, they were like, he's shooting the three. He's posting up. We didn't, we didn't know. I didn't hear as much about your defense, which is interesting. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm trying to put it all together. Uh, you want to be the best you can, put it all together, be a good all-around player. You talk about the greatest two-way players. You know, they had to do a lot. Uh, you have to have that endurance to be on both ends. Um, it's really my pops. I mean, he had me doing all types of crazy stuff in the gym, like working on my hook that I never got to use in AAU, working on my three ball that, you know, coach ain't calling for the big to go shoot a three. You're supposed to be in the post. So, you know, now I get to finally use it, uh, kind of more of a scoring option on this team, and it's all coming together a little bit. Jaron, this is a, I mean, this is a big season for you guys and for you personally, an all-star for the first time and now defensive player of the year. Um, I'm always curious when, when you get an accolade or like, or the accolades that you've gotten this year, where does your mind go in terms of the folks who are responsible for doing this? I know you've talked about your mom and dad, but who else? Uh, my whole entire coaching staff. Um, everybody this year, I mean, from T. Jenks, who definitely is coach of the year. Uh, from him on down, they, they've they instilled the confidence in me to be aggressive offensively, but really unleash me defensively to go out there and do whatever. Uh, there's so many people, man. Uh, all my coaches down the line, my AAU coaches, um, my high school coaches, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things you bring home to everybody. You bring home to your city, your family. Uh, it means a lot. Like, I'm bringing it home to an organization who's adding another defensive player of the year to their belt. And, uh, you know, I'm doing it for a lot of reasons. So it's not going to sink in right now. It'll probably sink in in the summer because now I just got to get ready for game two because we play 
in a couple of days. So that's really what you're focused on right now. Who else? You said you had uh, Dylan there with you, and your mom's there. Is Terry? Terry's there within the yeah. My mom's shot? here, but Dylan's Dylan's here in spirit. <laughs> but okay. my mom's right. Does she want some airtime? Would she, would she like to get some FaceTime here on this momentous night for you? Can you no, or she, not? She, oh, she she, she wants doesn't. to stay behind the scenes. <laughs> hey, make sure yeah. mom cook you a really nice home cooked meal tonight to celebrate. Yeah. No, hey. she's been doing that her whole life. Why don't you cook for her? Tonight, you oh, see no. the cooking. That's how you got the defensive play of the year. Them home cooked meals. So now it's celebrate with it. <laughs> exactly. No one's gonna eat it. <laughs> no doubt. <no. laughs> well, there will be plenty left for for the next day. Uh, Jared Jackson Jr. Congratulations, man. Well deserved. Well earned. And we're happy for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Appreciate you. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. That's that's good. Good and. and so deserving of, of yes. that award, as as were Brooke Lopez he has those and Evan Mobley. Pants. Remember the all-star pants with the nets? We said, yeah, I would wear those. Man, God, I forgot to ask him. Okay. Well, you had, your ch- you, had your, you had your chance. We'll be taking a break. We'll be coming back to talk about the, uh, the nets and the Sixers. Um, See that? Yeah, look at you, 129th, and you're talking about my defense. I'm 6'5", fool. You're 7'5". I'm top 10. Out of all the people. You're bigger than everybody else ever played the game. Thank you, talking That's to me. There you, go. Come. <laughs> there you go. That's how I look when I was 8, 12. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, Smith. Look at that dork. Who are you yeah, looking at, kid, right there? Look at that dork. He can shoot that thing. He can shoot that thing, though. Top 10, Chuck. Okay.